We are living in exceptional times. Scientists warn us that we have 10 years to change the way we live, avert the depletion of natural resources and the catastrophic evolution of the Earth's climate. We need to learn how to employ the natural resources respecting the Earth's recycling time. To farm though so having the soil to be fertile for the following season, to use water without drying out or polluting sources permanently. Our survey will reveal the level of awareness people have about the environment's problem and what it is their attitude on this topic. In other words, we are expected to adopt necessary behaviors to save our planet and we are going to investigate whether we are ready to face such change. Assessing attitudes towards sustainability. By the word attitude, we mean a set of feelings, prejudices, ideas and beliefs a person expresses on a given topic. But here is a question. Assessing attitude is not simple, because what it is to be evaluated and measured is not data or facts, but abstract and complex realities. An attitude cannot be seen directly. It must be inferred from the opinions a person expresses verbally on some key aspects of the attitude we intend to assess. The tools that allow to gather these key aspects are called indicators. That is, simple concept describing the different elements of an attitude. A complete and coherent array of indicators must be arranged in order to assess an attitude effectively. To do so, we use scales, that is, sets of items each one indicating a concept. Therefore, an item is a single question or statement concerning a concept, while a scale is the whole set of items, questions or statements of a survey. We will use a five-step Likert scale. In order to measure attitudes towards sustainable behaviors via Likert scales, Respondents are presented with a set of statements about the environment and eco-friendly behavior and asked to express their opinion about them. Each answer is assigned a score, for example, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, or 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. For example, consider a statement such as sustainable development should be a priority. The respondent can choose answer ranging from strongly disagree, score 1, to neither agree nor disagree, score 2, agree to a certain extent, score 3, agree, score 4, or strongly agree, score 5. The sum or mean of a given informant's scores represents his or her position on the environment's problem. The higher the score, the more eco-friendly the attitude. In order to make analysis as simple as possible, it would be better to arrange items in an increasing order, so a lower score indicates a low environmental awareness, and vice versa. Now, let's see how to design the questionnaire. Step 1. Analyzing attitudes and devising indicators. The first step is to define clearly what environmental awareness is, so to analyze the relative attitude in all its facets. What ideas, feelings, values or prejudices are evoked by the topic of sustainability? In our present research, we should try to be as thorough and consistent as possible so to choose the best set of indicators by which to construct 
the questionnaire's items. Step 2. Constructing items. We should find statements that allow us to measure the sample's point of view on that particular indicator. Such statements must be clear and concise in order to reduce misunderstanding or wrong interpretations. Each statement will show the five options in order of agreement. Step 3. Selecting the sample. To obtain reliable results, the questionnaire should be submitted to a sample that is representative of the population or, technically, the statistical universe we intend to study to assess its behavior and attitude. For example, to assess the environmental awareness of the teenagers in a given European country, we can choose them random in schools, gyms or other public places. The higher number of questionnaires we collect, the lower the risk of a statistical error. Step 4. Submitting the questionnaire. Before submitting a questionnaire, we must inform the interviewee about the scientific purpose of the research, without influencing his or her opinions on that topic. Then, we must tell him or her that the questionnaire is anonymous and that data will be treated in an aggregate form. Once the questionnaire has been filled out, the respondent folds the sheet and inserts it in a box. Step 5. Analyzing data. We need to prepare a matrix, for example by Excel, in which each statement is written down in the left column with the associated scores on the right. Each single spreadsheet will be used for a single questionnaire. The sum of the scores on the right column will indicate the degree of environmental awareness of a given interviewee, that is, his or her attitude on that topic. By confronting the whole sets of data in the spreadsheet, that is, the mean scores of the interviews, we will be able to measure the degree of awareness displayed by that population or statistical universe.